I am at the sorti culture event in the Everett Vision Park. It's called the sorti culture. I guess it's sort of art and sort of a horticulture is what it means. It's got a kids garden, so it's a kids friendly. Okay, I want to go get their cart. Have some beautiful scenery thing. And uh, I'm here to help a uh, carnivorous plant booth of carnivorous theory. Here we go. It's nice and music. So those, most of the plants are from uh, Jerry Addington's uh, Courting Frogs Nursery. But uh, anyways, she does this carnivorous terrarium and she teaches the class. There's Mary Frost. She's the one who owns this booth. And uh, Like I said, she teaches the class. It's like a carnivorous class, uh, carnivorous plant 101. And uh, what she does at the class is uh, uh, shows them how to care for it and then make a terrarium like that. So this is a box system that uh, Marie Foss made and sold at the Sorticulture event. Um, this has a soil uh, which has no fertilizer, basically peat moss and perlite mix. Uh, I believe there is um, uh, sphagnum moss on the bottom but that's uh, all, totally optional. Um, while I was helping uh, people at the event, I just realized not so many people know about the care of carnivorous plants in general. So, just want to go through really quick along with this how this system works. Um, this is a, a pitcher plant, uh, purpurata kind, Sarcinia purpurata, a uh, hybrid, of course. Um, and then also, this is also a Sarcinia. Uh, this is you know a totally different shape as you can see um, so and this is a Venus flytrap um, this is not a tropical plant so many people think so but this is from North Carolina it takes severe summer and severe winter um, and this is a uh, Dorsera binata um, they also prefer in, uh, outdoor. Uh, pretty much all this system prefers outside. Uh, takes a really good sunlight. Um, and then uh, you put um, super low, soft, low in mineral water. Preferably distribute the water here. And uh, you can see the water level. Uh, when it's going down, you want to put more water. These guys are thirsty. You like to have um, the soil wet. Uh, but if your area have a, a super high content mineral in your water, then stay away those and make sure to use distilled water. Not the bottle of water, uh, but distilled water. So, um, and uh, you cannot keep it in indoor forever. Maybe uh, summertime where 
really good sunlight comes in then you can keep it but um, eventually you have to take it outside and those guys especially those guys get big anyways so um, these are um, these also like have to go through a dormancy uh, those not necessarily die back but it will die back a little bit and this one and this one and this one um, when it gets lower I mean sorry uh, when it gets colder the picture will die back so you want to cut right here um, and if those those are uh, rather will survive some of them survive you don't have to cut them all you know uh, you just cut the dried ones in the winter and then cover things up if you have like severe winter seriously like we had a uh, uh, two weeks of snow uh, we don't ha have that kind of severe uh, winter in Seattle uh, and uh, most of my collection didn't come back so that's uh, something you need to think about uh, but anyways um, this will end uh, my uh, sorti culture video um, and uh, hope you liked it um, she said she's gonna do this one uh, next year too uh, we were super busy I was gonna take an extra shoot uh, shot at the event actually but uh, um, I was just helping customers uh, answering so many questions so I uh, ended up not taking any more video so anyways uh, if you like this video uh, please uh, subscribe it and share it and uh, like it thank you very much bye